Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Mr. Front from Mr. Front Gaming here to bring you another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing. I was actually went to my local GameStop today and I actually found this nice product, a Cyber Dragon Revolution Structure Deck. Uh, I wanted to pick it up just because it has a Super Poly as a common in it and uh, the common Super Poly looks like it's going for about eight to nine dollars on the markets and um, I just wanted to open it up and show you guys and you know plus uh, you know with Cyber Dragon getting all that extra support in dual power with Natch there I mean I feel like it would be a pretty good unboxing to do if I can get it out of there here we go toss that to the side all right nice all right so here is your deck of cards obviously with the nice ultra rare Cyber Dragon Nova on the cover so put that off to the side for now comes with a little deck list and probably a little combo tutorial but we don't really need that and a nice little play mat take that out of here and then it also comes with a old rule book from uh, about the Xeed side probably the um, I can't remember the anime series that they were from but that's good if you need it but I'm here for these cards which are always a pain to open I gotta find the little tab that you pull Oh, where is it? There it is. Excellent. Alright, let's see what we get here. Alright, let's throw it out of there. Get out of here. Alright, so first up is the first card we get. I don't know if you can see that. Is a Cyber Dragon Nova. A very crucial part for the Cyber Dragon engine. Uh, obviously, you make this and you overlay it into the Infinity Plays. Uh, using Galaxy Soldier or whatnot, so really awesome card to have. Okay, we also have a Cyber Twin Dragon, so nice, nice. You know, attacks twice. You know, a very another crucial spot. A lot, not really getting a lot of meta gameplay competitive use, but I still like to use it in a fun, casual way. All right, we have Cyber Dragon Core, one of the best Cyber Dragon monsters that there are. Um, this one just. Uh, facilitates so many of your combos you want to see this guy first uh, especially now with Nashter being in the TCG but anyways another great okay we also get a cyber dragon um, you can say dry Dre I say Dre just because I feel like that's the correct way but it's also another crucial spot I think um, you normally won one or two of these in your deck um, but yeah it really helps and then of course, you know we gotta have the big boy, uh, the Cyber Dragon. You gotta have the Cyber Dragon, of course. Uh, he's got that great special summon capabilities. If you control, if your uh, uh, opponent controls a monster and you do not, sorry, I can't, I can't speak tonight. Anyways, Cyber Dragon. That's the start of the commons. Uh, we also get a, uh, another Cyber Dragon with the alt art. We have a Cyber Dragon's Way, another Cyber Dragon's Way, a proto Cyber Dragon. Another Proto Cyber Dragon, Cyber Valley, not a lot of people run Cyber Valley, Cyber Larva, Cyber Larva, Cyber Phoenix, Cyber Dinosaur, Cyber Elton, and uh, my sister actually has beat me with this card numerous times. Uh, we have Armored, uh, Armored Cyburn, Satellite Cannon, Solar Wind Jammer, Jade Knight, uh, Falcon B. Uh, Reflect Bounder, The Light, uh, Hex Sealed Fusions. Most of these are just kind of the, the extra stuff they put in the deck to kind of fill up the space. Uh, you don't really see these in the competitive play. I'm just kind of reading off the deck list for you guys. Uh, Shining Angel, another great card, Cyber Repair Plant. I think it's gotten some foil printings uh, out of some other sets, but this is really good common. Uh, Evolution Burst, Super Poly. This is the card right here, guys. Uh, this guy is at now semi-limited, so you can actually run two of him. He is great against the uh, Salaman Great Mirror, um, any kind of fusion deck. I use it against Thunder Dragons to take their Colossus away from him. Um, it, it's a great, powerful card, and it, just to be in this structure deck was, was $9.99, and this card goes for $8, $9, maybe even $10 some places. So this gets your value back right here in just one card. A really great card to have. So I'm actually going to lay that down right here. And then we got Power Bond. Um, I've actually gotten an ultimate Power Bond out of, I can't remember the set name, but it was actually a really good experience. Um, but yeah, Power Bond, not a lot of people run it, but 
it, it can hurt trust me uh, limiter removal another one of those cards it just got moved um i can't remember it just got unlimited or limited to one i can't i can't remember but it's another great card megamorph uh ddr D different dimension reincarnation of course mystical space typhoon uh you know there's a whole little meme thing does it negate who knows right a light of redemption uh machina armored unit cyber network now this is a car that not a lot some people played in their competitives i've seen it played with great success so i really think it's worth it uh, we also have cybernetic hidden technology three of a kind trap stun dimensional prison uh malevolent i don't even know how to talk catastrophe uh wabaku call of the haunted of course another great uh staple common i mean it, it's a good card man you can't really go wrong with call of the haunted and of course the dual links little promo even though i feel like dual links is not as good as it always has been but here we go so just again to recap uh let me get rid of the cyber dragon here uh your foils that you really want out of there is obviously you got dre core cyber twin and of course nova as the big boss and then good old common super poly here now um that's everything for that uh, structure deck, but I also did pick up another one that had a buy one, get one 50% off sale. So I went ahead and picked up the Layer of Darkness structure deck. I feel like it's also got a lot of great stuff um, in it as well, but I'm going to do that for another video. I just want to open this one for you guys real fast just to show you what's in there. Uh, just kind of start up uh, doing my unboxings. I'm also going to do some deck profiles. I did just come third place in a uh, OTS little locals thing. Now, it was about, I think it was about 10 people showed up, but I still got third. So it was pretty nice playing True Dracos. Uh, shout out to my buddy Ben. He also played uh, True Dracos. But um, yeah, guys, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be putting up a lot of new content. Uh, just stay tuned to the channel. If you like the video, uh, like it, subscribe. And if you uh, need to see any improvements or what do you want me to open next, please comment down below. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Good night.